right, all right, all right, all right. I want to talk about something really serious. I want to talk about jumping to conclusions. So often, and us in the media too, we get the information, we on it. Jumping to conclusions. There is a story right now of Mr. Barney Sims, who was murdered in his front yard. My heart goes out to his family. I am so sorry. That should not happen to anybody. It's, it's a lot to this story. It's a lot to the story to me. They're, they were looking for the 17 year old boy. His name is Eric Banks. His mother sees the video and she's like, oh my God, that's my son. Like her, I would have did the same thing. I would have got on the phone. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. The police are looking for you. They're talking about some murder. Come home, you need to turn yourself in. I applaud the mom. I applaud her. I applaud the son. The son came and turned himself in. The mother is saying, the son said, he offered him a ride and a bite to eat, a 17-year-old. He's in jail for murder. It is more to the story. That's all I want to tell you. It is more to the story. I don't know if this young man murdered him. I don't know. And they were talking about he had a background or something. Okay, he got suspended from school. Okay. Okay. He smoked weed. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of y'all smoke weed back in the day. Okay, come on now. I'm just telling you that why are we randomly picking up a 17-year-old and taking him out to get a bite to eat? To me, that is something wrong there. That's number one. Number two, the man, young man is saying he didn't do it. Okay, so we don't know. So we need to stop jumping to conclusions. We need to wait so the police can find out what's going on. This young man needs a lawyer. Because so often we jump to conclusions and guess what? This young man could be innocent. He could be innocent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I don't know if you saw the story. I hope the mom has a lawyer for her son. I hope that Mr. Barney Sims family, I mean, they are really hurting right now because this this man has been murdered. Um, we're going to find out in days, but we do have to stop jumping to conclusion. And I was reading some of the comments because a lot of people were saying that um, they that he did it. Too many times mothers refuse to believe their children can do wrong. That was Juanita. I truly respect this woman for her courage. And I agree with you too, because when it's your child and your child is in a situation, we want to believe the best of our child. We want to say, uh-uh, ain't no way my kid would do something like that. I feel you, Juanita, on that one. But there's some mothers out there know that their child is... Yes, and there are some yeah. mothers that know that their kids are ratchet. Right. They're ratchet, they're out there robbing people, they're lying, they're cutting school, they're doing terrible things, they're doing drugs. We know they're ratchet, and, and, and it is mothers that know that of their kid, and that doesn't mean that they wouldn't still protect them. Look, I'm just, it is something about a mother and their child. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that connection, and they want to always protect them. So I see you, Winita. Uh, Maria said she definitely did the right thing by turning her son in. I would have done the same thing. No matter how bad it would hurt me to see my son go to jail, but if he's wrong, he's wrong. So it's a lot of support for the mother. But then there was a lady on here. I'm trying to find her her comment and she was saying hold on it's to me it's something more oh here it is Sh Shamir why are we so quick to show face to the story I she's kind of saying we don't know what has happened here um how, Sh Shamir said how are you going to pick up a stranger and take him to your house 
who does that? So much is more to the story. So we don't even know if the young man went to his house yet. We don't we don't know all of that. So I mean, but you have to keep in mind he was a church man. You know, he's been to that church. He's been going to that church for forty years. Okay. Um. So maybe he was doing. He's just reaching out, helping in the community, yeah. and he saw a young man. Yeah. I hear you. That could happen. But now we're in a time of, oof, God, just just like. You know, one of the things my husband tells me, because I used to do this all the time, I would see someone walking, and I was like, come on, let me give you a ride and just drop you off the street. He went ballistic. Hmm. I don't do that anymore. And I don't do that for women and children anymore. Because my husband said, they'll set you up, they'll have the kid and rob you. So it keep now I'm on guard. Oh uh, God, look at her. She's got groceries and the baby, and I want to pull over and help. But my God, if I pull over and help, I might not make it home. So I keep riding. How terrible is that? Look at what our world has come to. So we got two families not in a good place. So we'll keep keep you up to date with this story, and uh, hopefully all the truth will go will come out. All right, guys. I get right, get ready, uh, uh, give out this song of the hour. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all now what it is, okay? Before everybody else, hold on. The song of the hour is "Adorn" by Miguel. "Adorn" by Miguel. Peace out.